Hi everybody, I'm Krzysztof Kubasek, industrial designer and CAD University teacher. If you're bored of sitting and modeling in office, I have something special for you in this episode. But first, we need to change this environment. Let's go! That's much better. We are going to take a look at one of my favorite design software I have discovered recently. Uh, the software uh, is designed for industrial designers, engineers and 3D passionates and allows you to design on the go, whatever you like. Uh, I quite like to work in a cafe. I'm sure you will love it the same as me. Let me introduce you Shapro 3D software. Shapro 3D is a 3D modeling card for all Apple Pencil supported iPads. You can design within the most natural way on the go, no matter where you are. It is an easy to use and fully professional 3D modeling app on the iPads. Uh, Shapro 3D runs on Parasolid, same engine as SolidWorks and NX. This allows you uh, the same level of precision as SOLIDWORKS but combined with the flexibility of drawing in a real life. Shapro 3D is uh, compatible with all major desktop CAD programs. So after you are done modeling, you can quickly export models to your uh, desktop or send them for 3D printing. I have already designed a couple of objects in Shapro 3D. You see them right now on the screen. Uh, it's great for industrial designers uh, and it's fully compatible with Rhino. In this episode, I will challenge myself here at the cafe modeling organ chair designed by Mark Newsom. But, uh, but I'm going to do it using Sharp 3D. You can review the Rhino version of this tutorial at my channel. Uh, you will see how step by step to do it. And you will realize how fun it is to design with Sharp 3D. Let's start. So first I'm going to uh, make a uh, kind of symmetry line. So this line helped me to create a mirror of my profile later. And also, uh, be sure you have set a uh, second and one before last uh, point of your uh, profile horizontally at the same line with first and last. Uh, this is kind of trick to not make uh, edgy surface uh, connection at your form. Uh, I'm using this trick to automate smoothing, tangent uh, and continuity between surfaces straight at the level of uh, curve creating. As you spotted, I've used the uh, line I've created at the beginning as a symmetry line to uh, mirror my profile. So now I will delete this uh, line because I want to have one even uh, profile. So now I'm going to give this profile direction of my uh, chair. And I'm going to set the line which will help me to create construction plane uh, by through the edge and at angle. The construction geometry always help uh, to mm, arrange uh, stuff according to uh, some coordinate system in this case according to the plane. I need to copy uh, my profile. So I'm going to copy by transform tool. I need to have it once uh, copied here. Just next to, to the first one. I need to have another one which gonna narrow the form of the chair in this place in the middle. Once you launch the transform command, you can change the profiles and uh, play with them uh, separately. And when you're making some conceptual work, you always have to make a tryout. 
Mm, uh, in this case, I need to find the, the right angle. So in this case, I need to find the right angle for my backrest profiles. So it's uh, all basically experimenting with the, the right adjustments. This profile is going to be the narrowest part of my chair, so I'm going to resize it. So if you're not happy of your profile settings, you can just uh, make a back step and correct it and make it again as long as you're happy. I think I need to adjust uh, the backrest uh, a little bit more. Okay. So as you can see, I can just uh, select the, the one profile and then still be on with your transfer command. This is great. Okay, I think I'm happy with it. So now I need to just uh, go and find loft command and select each profile. Okay, uh, it's looking great. So uh, now I need to create uh, another profiles. So this profile is going to be a uh, legs profiles. So I'm going to create a one circle. And then I'm going to uh, duplicate that circle and resize it. So as uh, you can see right now, I've created a circle. Now I'm going to use a transform tool. Okay, and just use arrows to drag uh, and uh, drop by copy. Be sure to select the copy from the panel above. So now it's ready and now I need to just uh, make a loft comment again and then I need to just uh, set this legs in, uh, in the places where they supposed to be. So I make uh, two copies of one of my uh, legs. The one of them I'm going to use as a back uh, leg. And then I'm going to intersect them. Of course, I'm going to rotate mm, and found, find the right angle. Uh, make sure any edge of your leg is not uh, sticking out of the form. We have to intersect them evenly. So we're gonna make them uh, fillet later. And when you're placing the leg in the right position, you might need uh, very often to be in the right uh, uh, view. So to change view, to switch between views, you just need to tap once on a top 3D box and then yeah, you can switch between views. Okay, I think it's done. 
So now to help myself to create another one, the same one on the on the other side, I need to create the line which will help me to create construction plane. Uh, and I'm going to use this construction plane to uh, mirror first leg on the other side. Using construction planes uh, in Sharper 3D is uh, crucial. It helps you a lot to organize your design on the stage. Okay, so let's play a little bit with the back leg. So I need to set up the right view and then uh, resize it and place it in the right place and make it and both solids intersected. Now we need to use union tool to join all of these uh, objects together to be one solid. And now we can make a uh, fillet at the connection edges. If you want to be more accurate, you can type a uh, size of fillet manually as I did before by just tapping the uh, white lab label next to fillet. And the same on the back. Okay, so now I just need to uh, cut the legs uh, flat to have them on the ground. I just need to create a rectangle and extrude it and, and use it as a profile, as a cutting uh, tool. I've created uh, the rectangle in the mid plane of coordinate system. So now I'll move it aside by using transform command. Then I'll just extrude it. So now I'll use a uh, subtract command. So remember, first you need to select the object you are subtracting in and then tool, which is object you are subtracting with. Now I just need to fill it the legs at the bottom. So I will hide all of unuseful stuff, sketches and construction planes to see better what's on the stage and select the edges and just uh, pull it down to get the right uh, profile of my fillet. The last thing I need to do is just uh, to shell my object. So I'm going to select the surfaces. Um, I want to be shelled and then just make a thickness. A little bit of uh, last touches which is filleting edges and I can move straight to uh, color adjustments.
okay before I start to make a colors I'm going to uh, turn anything I don't need on the stage which is uh, sketches and uh, planes and now I need to go straight to colors and this is gonna be last part of this tutorial so uh, you've learned how to use the profiles to loft we have been using a union tool a little bit of filleting so as we gone through all of uh, the design uh, that wasn't that difficult to create that so uh, thank you for watching and see you next time I don't know what's your opinion uh, what's your feeling about Shaper 3d but I'm very excited working with this uh, great platform uh, it actually gives a huge ability of creating any objects you just need a little bit of time to build up your knowledge but Shaper 3d provides a huge support online trust me it's really worth it uh, I'm very convinced to that software uh, and I can certainly recommend it to you so check out download the Shaper 3d on your iPad and get playing around with it I hope uh, you're gonna enjoy it uh, thanks much for watching uh, give this video a thumb up uh, if you enjoy it hit subscribe if you are new to my channel and I will see you next time good luck